we all know that uh, Dwaynshara or Gladysugia can add a lot of nitrogen, natural nitrogen to the soil. We don't require uh, chemical nitrogen in for India or ammonium chloride. But tell me how many universities or sugar patients today can claim to have Dwaynshara or Gladysugia seed to make it available to the farmer for use? No. They are just not available. We have given up the idea of natural nitrogen, either through organic means. We, we are all waiting for uh, the, uh, the train load to arrive from RCA or from Juari and uh, then we apply it in the field. The external dependency of our villagers has increased multifold. Everything that he was making at home, he is buying from outside. And a little bit of money that he makes goes on those purchases. And that is why he is more poor today than he was 30 years back, despite the fact that his production has gone up. So, when we go for measures um, for, for climate change adaptation and mitigation, this is one aspect which I feel must be in the center of our focus, that we will we'll promote technology that enhances it, but doesn't add to the cost, not doesn't have a uh, time series cost escalation. Every year you have to go up by 15%, 20%. Because technology also will have a limitation. Whatever technology comes in future will have a limitation. And if the cost goes up every year, the yield becomes stagnant sometime, then margin goes down. Now, the interventions that are required, the first point that was mentioned was uh, managing water. That's going to be a real big crisis in future. Managing water. Now, all of us have seen last few years, you, you saw a phenomenon of 944 million tons of rainfall coming in Bombay in 12 hours, never recorded in history before. You saw in Andhra Pradesh in 2003, 1500 people dying of high temperature. Or you saw people dying of cold in north. Now, these extremes are coming, and those extremes are our present scientific technology available today may not have full answer to those extremes. And finding out answers through research to those extremes is going to help us uh, in mitigating the impact. And uh, that has to come uh, from a research laboratory. Policy initiative has to help take that to the farmers. Now, so far taking this to the farmer is concerned, uh, you, civil society organizations are one set of people. The Department of Agriculture of Government is another set of institutions which was supposed to take this to the farmer from lab to land. Now, today if you see, the extension system in entire country perhaps is the most weak today than it was ever before. And so technology transfer has become a perfect casualty. There is no way that technology gets transferred to the farm. Now we have been thinking in Navar, even if you appoint a person through Department of Agriculture, or even if you and me go to the village, this is only by your uh, uh, once in 15 days, once in 10 days, once in 5 days. We are not there every day. We are not there 24 hours. So, why not to have some people who stay in the village, who understand what is happening to the world, to their own surroundings, what changes are likely, the knowledge and capacity that we thought. So, build, give knowledge, build capacity of a set of people who are farmers who are living in the village. Now, literacy rate has gone up, understanding levels have gone up, so somebody must do this capacity building and knowledge uh, development of those people who are progressive, who are forward looking, who are, who are willing to understand and who are willing to experiment it in their fields and take the responsibility on your behalf, on my behalf to transfer it to the other farmers. So that is what now we have started in Nabar. We are saying that uh, uh, we have, you saw one of our officer told about farmers club. Now farmers club, every village has 30, 40 people who have come together. They meet from time to time, discuss from time to time. They are taken on uh, trips to different places to see how technology is uh, being applied. Now we propose to select 3, 4, 5 farmers from the <coughs> who are most progressive, who are experimenting various technologies in their field. And then give them intensive training, build their capacity to the level when they can be they can act as micro extension activists or they can act as community so social volunteers. They will be our ambassador to transfer knowledge. They will practice it themselves, 
and will transfer it to other. Then such people would be available in the village round the clock. And uh, technology dissemination, by doing so, technology, credit and market need to go together. And so we propose to train these farmers in credit, in technology and in market. Now somebody when I came was mentioning of the producer companies. Now uh, one of our uh, organizations, the NGO, uh, has uh, built a producer company, the has established a producer company uh, in Bihar called Masuka, where hundreds of rival women uh, make silk saris. Now this is another area where we are, we are trying to say that can we make producers, organization or farmers to finally take it to the, uh, to the market so that he gets directly linked to the market. He gets a fair price for his return. Whatever technology he uses to mitigate the impact and produce something, he must get a fair price for that. So, uh, some of our interventions in water side is well known to you. Uh, our, I, I knew about Nabad water side much before I went to Nabad when I was working as Commissioner of Agriculture because they, for us, believe Nabad has always believed Maharashtra as the laboratory for experiment, for experimenting all the new ideas. So they experimented the water side idea in a uh, number of districts in Maharashtra and as Commissioner of Agriculture, Director of Agriculture, I, I have visited many of them. What made me feel happy about these projects was you are implementing a uh, set of measures which, which you are not the one who is implementing, but people who are told this is what we should do, they are told the regions behind such interventions, and then they understood, they accepted, and they did. And uh, this we are now expanding all over the country. We are working in 2 million hectares now. Uh, starting from one village, now we have one to 3,000 villages all over the country. So, but all those villages are obviously rented areas and uh, less water. So optimization of water availability and use is one of the most important. So that is where I have been uh, talking to water from time to time. I want a post watershed intervention strategy. Pre watershed is to arrest the decline, post watershed is to enhance productivity in the most economic way through a series of technical interventions. So like you go for drought resistant varieties. You go for low water recovering crops, you go for cultural practices which will minimize use of water, you go for micro-irrigation technology which will minimize use of water, or you go for all such measures available or can be made available which helps farmer produce more from less use of water. It is happening elsewhere, it can happen here. So these are the, the those strategies which enables farmer maximize output from minimum use of resources is finally going to help us. Land, water and vegetation are the three natural sources available to us. Livestock and human beings are the two creations of nature who have to exploit this natural resource for their own sustenance, own living. Now there has to be a balance and this balance has to be at the back of mind when we initiate any project uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, interventions that will help in uh, reducing the impact of climate change. Uh, if it is not coming, very good. Those of them who say it is not coming, it is all overstatement, exaggerated statements, fine, nothing to worry about. But if it is coming, we better be prepared and that, that should be the way we go forward. I am extremely happy I was able to uh, come here, uh, join all of you, listen to uh, all of you and uh, uh, I am happy that uh, the organizers are going to document all that was uh, thought of or was stated here, uh, they will bring it in form of a document and uh, that, that should be a useful document to all those who are thinking to do something in this area. Thank you very much.